because Jews be Jewing. We and, say that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on this podcast. And once they had these underground tunnels and this like extra storage space, you don't know what it's like to live in New York. There's no room. Mm-hmm. And they're like, let's put some stuff there. Let's put the old high chairs there. Let's put old fucking whatever we're going to put in there. Let's put all, all the old coats, lost and found. Let's just make some room. Or let's do it in rainy days. We can go down there. We can have a second, second like prayer service down there. So the, the theory so, was they saw the mattress down there, so like sex trafficking. Right. I thought yes. they always go to sex trafficking. Because I think they want it to be sex trafficking. They so want it to be pe- sex trafficking. And Jews don't really do that. They wouldn't go through the synagogue. If it was Jews, it'd be Epstein on his own. Right. But Jews generally are like, hey, hey, we're going to the cops about this. Mm-hmm. Oh. They don't cover it up community-wise or transfer you to another community the way Catholics do. Yeah. Right. Are we recording? Sir? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you able to watch any of the games yesterday? I was. Yeah, the, the end of the second one for sure. The comedy store or whatever. Comedy <laughs> store was. <laughs> the, ca- the comedy yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On the patio. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, on the patio of the comedy store. Yeah, it was a great game. Yeah. Fucking Cunningham. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you done this podcast? <sighs> Excited to be three. here. This is episode three. This is episode three. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. We, we just, we just, we just got together. I'm like, we should do this. Yeah. And let's 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 get in on it. Yeah. Before you guys like split up as friends from roommates. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that's crazy that you brought that up. That uh, was our first episode and how we split up. Our first up episode as... was how we, we actually did split up as friends once. Yeah. And then now we're back together. That's cool. And it did, we lost the podcast. Every, literally the whole thing of like how <laughs> friends in comedy break up. <laughs> and then <laughs> Jeff and Scott died. They just talked each other behind each other's back. Jeff Scott died. Yeah. I and that's what brought us back. And that brought us back. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We were both planning it and then it happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know what cat ate his face? His cats that fucking ate him. Oh, no. really? Because really? yeah. he was there for a while. Oh, my God. Did they know he had AIDS? Uh, I, don't think, I, got, I don't know if you can get regular AIDS to feline AIDS. Oh, oh it's yeah. not a pipeline? I thought it, I I thought know, it was. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. <laughs> I thought it was just yeah. a bunch of people fucking cats out here. That's, <laughs> damn, they just can't eat them. That's uh, crazy. Yeah, they got hungry. You know how cats be. Yeah, the cats, are, cats suck. I don't yeah. like cats. I don't like cats. They'll do it within like one hour. They'll start eating you? Yeah, one hour. Wow. wow. They said the longest animal, uh, a labradoodle, will wait the longest. It'll wait until it's absolutely about to starve. Every other dog will wait until it gets pretty hungry. And then start eating you? Yeah. But a labradoodle wow. will wait until I doubt it's that. really about no to starve. No way. Dogs won't. Also, how did they run this test? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kill a master by him. <laughs> it's crazy, though. But that's what he, uh, I saw a doctor say. These are the less, less known Nazi experiments. <laughs> it's like, kill them in front of their dogs. Keep their dogs alive. Keep them friendly. Now kill them. Now let's see what happens. <laughs> Speaking of Nazi experiments, we actually have a picture. We've been, Derek and I have been debating whether or not this picture is real. I think this is this is a good time to bring it up. Val, can you pull up this picture? Now, do you think this is a real picture? No way. <laughs> yeah. That's, Bruh, what... that's him. It's <laughs> clearly photoshopped. I mean, the necklace looks like it's fucking drawn. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That's, no, that's, that's him, Doug. He was in really good shape. Because if you look at him without a shirt on, yeah. You're like, damn, he has broader shoulders, and then you really start assessing. Yeah, him. it's like that. What's that? It traps. No <laughs> way. <he got> that. <laughs> also, no way Hitler didn't wear a belt. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that I would say. That's maybe, the giveaway. Yeah, that's, that's might a, be that's the a model look. <laughs> you wear a belt. What gall do you have? Did I wear a belt? Yeah. At least suspenders. Uh, look okay. at those tiny nips. Yeah. No, no like, Hitler would have big ones. nips. Yeah, he would be a big nipper. Big poppers. Are, are we sure? Are we sure? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. damn. Well, I mean, we, we asked you here for a certain reason. Good comb over, though. <laughs> comb over is nice. Yeah. Uh, what'd you ask me? I just found out posting was a fake name about, because you always post online. Wait, no, 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 yeah. no, no. Mark Gagnon, Mark Gagnon told me that. No, that, no why would he say that? Because you'd be posting. <laughs> no, what? that's my name because when I play basketball, I only post up. It oh, has really? nothing to do with Yeah, uh-huh. he, play, he plays an old style of basketball. Very right? old. <laughs> exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to imagine myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a sinner from he's, the 60s. He's the only person still practicing post moves. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's crazy? You brought the, the poster shit? Mm-hmm. I, found, I looked up last night what my name means, and it, it comes from like an old English name. From and it it wasn't a real name. It was just that's what they called the person who was posting like on guard. They'd be like, "That's a posting." Oh, really? Yeah, and that's oh, wow. that's someone who would post up outside the wall. It was like in Kent, in another city, but yeah, and that's what that's literally what. And then that's what this name comes from. So that's where my da- dad's side of the family, the white side. That's where they come from. Wow, whatever wow, that is, and that's what my last name is. It's posted. not even a real name. That's not even a. F- Usually, black names got white names because they were like you're part of that family. Yeah, but I got I got you weren't even a name. 
Yeah. 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 Wow. I'm black with like a real lineage. <laughs> like a, real, like, a real white It wasn't lineage. forced on you. You're an actual post-it. Yeah, but my mom's side wheeler for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> they bad. wheeled. Bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Real bad. <laughs> Not good. Uh-huh. Not good at all. But damn, that's great. I found that out last night. Congrats. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you what, is, does, what does Ari Shafir mean? Ari means uh, lion. Shafir means pleasant. Oh, yeah. wow. Isan Ahmad means zip up the vest. <laughs> <laughs> I assume. <Yeah. laughs> Do you know what your name means? Yeah, it means uh, maybe, uh, uh, Ahmad is just a derivative of Muhammad, and Asan basically means loyal, so loyal to Muhammad. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe, do you sure it's not Muhammad's loyal to you? No, I'm pretty sure I'm, lo- <laughs> I'm loyal to Muhammad. And wow. that's, you know, yeah. how you can plan things like 9 11 and stuff like that. You gotta that's believe. That's cool. Damn, I would say you're a pleasant lion, bro. I don't really know you well, but I would say that. The, lo- the hair used to be better for it. Well, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, the beard yeah. is the beard is the fantastic for back. it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. Well, good to be here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So the reason why we asked you on is we just want to know what the fuck is going on with the tunnels. What does it mean? How did it start? What's going on? Well, and we could go back to the. We don't, we don't have to have Hitler on this. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> the tunnels are interesting. I mean, you guys saw them. Yes. They yes. came out of nowhere. They came out of nowhere. Yes. Right. But they were right in the heart of the Gaza fucking conflict. So it <laughs> gave way to a lot of fucking wild theories. Well, yeah, it came at the same time that they were like mad at people in Gaza for having tunnels under their hospitals. Uh-huh, so it was uh-huh. like, there was, it's very, it's a, a lot of tunnel-based yeah, news stories going around. That, I, I didn't know that deep into it, mm-hmm. that part. I, I'm not positive. I got to assume it was because they locked up. I'm guessing. You would th- Here's the problem. None of those Hasidic Jews popping out of that tunnel. Mm-hmm. You think they'd be like, all right, all right, you guys caught us. Let me make a statement. Right. Let me yeah. just tell you what it was. We heard you've been saying it's sex trafficking. Mm-hmm. Let me just put that to bed. Right. But instead, they just like, well, I don't care. Just think whatever you want. It's wild. That's such a power move. It's such a power move. They don't give a fuck about anybody. Those are the Jews that have their own country. They're their own thing. They don't care about anybody. They don't even slow down at red lights. If you go to Williamsburg, <laughs> you see a Hasidic Jew at a red light on his flip phone, he won't slow down for you. He won't slow down for you. He may, maybe will slow down for you because he'll maybe like a Jewish lady. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Her nose is Jewish as fuck. Like, yeah. 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 Super yeah. Nose. yeah. Um, yeah, they just do their own thing. The street signs are in their own language, and so they're like, they just don't weigh in. It's crazy. It's crazy. You'd think they'd be like, hey, anti-Semitism is up. They're like, nah. I do think it was because, I think it came from COVID. You think I think so? they padlocked the doors of the synagogue. And, and the Hasidic Jews, these aren't all Jews, by the way. Mm-hmm. We have our own tunnels. But like, uh, <laughs> I think they were padlocked because the, the, they were like, we're going to synagogue anywhere. We're going to pray. There was all these like protests where the cops were coming to shut them down during height of COVID, remember? And then like, right. like little kids were going up to cops going, <coughs> like, like fucking I, do remember that. Yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember some punk kid in New York was like taking uh, uh, apples at the supermarket, coughing on them, putting them back, and they arrested him. They were like, no, we don't want that today in our society. Right. It well, was that... like, it was a tough time. They're like, well, are you fucking nuts? That's rude pre-COVID, really. That's, Pre- yeah, really yeah, that's anytime. pretty fucked up. It's not arrestable. It's throw outable. Right. How dumb am I? I? I'm like, damn, they still have like Apple stands like that? Like oh, when yeah. you walk up like, oh, yeah. in a movie? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, like Aladdin? Is that what you're talking about? But they have them outside. It's great. They have outside stands at late, late at night, 3, 3 a.m. I tell there's a joke about it. When you're drunk and you need to leave a fucking, <laughs> you need a bar right. and you need an apricot bath. <laughs> yeah, <that bad. laughs> They're there for you. See, Derek's only experiences in New York is flying in, doing Radio City Music Hall, and then leaving. So he has oh, no really? idea. In my head, I'm like, man, New York's awesome. You go in, <laughs> yeah, you do Radio just, City Music Hall, yeah. fucking Schultz takes you to dinner, you <laughs> leave. You leave. <laughs> yeah. New York's a really nice place. <laughs> yeah. That is my only experience of it. I don't uh, really understand. I let Schultz open for me at the Beacon. He gave him a start. Damn. Yeah. Was, was he any good back then? What? Was he any good back then? Um, he was. <laughs> he was all right. It was. It was March, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he really was. He really was onto something, and I really think he's he's that catapulted him to where he is now. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we sure. we say this about Schultz all the time. Well, hey, man, you'll figure it out one day. That's what we say. Yeah, my only advice to him would be like, I, I wouldn't ignore the bottom part of the hair. It's, it's quality, <laughs> it's quality real estate. Bro, yeah, bro, you're doing then. the opposite of his hair. Fuck <laughs> you, dude. Fuck you. Why don't you be posting about it? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You and Schultz combined yeah, make we one do have a hair. One hair. One hair. <laughs> and three noses. <laughs> yeah. I love when you ask Schultz if he's Jewish. He's like, no. 
but he's like quiet about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he yeah, he likes the he, he likes the mystery. Yeah, he likes the mystery. Yeah. He'll claim like Nigerian if he's with the right people, if he's with a bunch of them. You know what he I mean? He knows a little about every culture. Yeah. So he yeah. blends in, bro. It's, yeah. it's cool to watch him. I see him hung up with pedophiles and he could just join right <laughs> in. It's crazy. He doesn't fully fuck, but he fingers. He fingers, but he fingers like he knows how to do it. He uses the, the lingo that they use. You know? But at that time, bro, everybody was hanging with Dalia, dog. Yeah. Everybody was hanging with him. We were all hanging with him. No, uh, <laughs> no but that's, that's the thing about New York. You meet everybody. You, you meet out all sorts. You meet all sorts. You, you, get, really get, you get a worldly perspective. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, anyway, so I think they padlocked the doors for COVID, and okay. the Orthodox Jews are like, "No, we don't care about this thing." Mm -hmm. So I met a, I met a rabbi like pretty early on in COVID at, at a coffee shop, and he was saying hi, and um, I guess he knew me a little bit. I'm a well known Jew, and, uh, <laughs> for my special. And he goes, I, I was just talking to him. I was like, "Are you doing services?" Like this is like the early, like the first week. He goes, "No, right. we shut down." I was like, "Really?" I thought like uh, religious exemption. And he's like, "No, nah, disease doesn't work that way." <laughs> like it's gonna it's gonna spread right uh, we got old people there so i was like oh interesting but the hasidic jews are like fuck that mm. certain groups are like fuck that we're going we're going forward yeah i guess yeah. what makes and them they have more a big voter, they have a big voter block too because they mm. all vote one mm. so like if you get what does that mean if you get most of the white vote or most of the male vote it's 60 40 you really only get 20 20 percent okay you're getting the difference all the hasidic jews they say who here's how you should vote and they all vote one block they vote, here's your nine candidates. Here's your city councilman. Here's your uh, senator. Here's your congressman. Here's your president. Here's who you're all voting for. So all, you know, 50,000 vote one. So if it was 40,000, 10,000, that's a landslide. That's only 30,000 difference. This is 50,000, you know? Who uh, makes that this call? Who gets the to, head? Who gets to... The rabbis, the head rabbi. They decide what's better for them. Uh, yeah. Is it just a so they So they... Yeah, they're all cults. Yeah, 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 yeah. D Derek, are you realizing religion? Yeah, it's just a religion, but it's a strong religion. They do it in the Amazon, too. They all vote. Like, in Ecuador, they're like, hey, we're all voting for this party. Don't forget to vote for this party. This is, yeah. this is strong on fracking, you know, on anti-fracking. So we're all voting for this party. Mm. Um, but this is, like, 100%. Tell me. To, we're not following. Just tell me who to vote for. We'll go put, cast our vote. Uh, Scientology does the same thing. Scientology votes one in, uh, in West Hollywood. Damn, so they're like an important, you have to like court them. Yeah, you really do. So you have to give them some favors. That's so That's how smart. politics works. That's why the Republicans mm. got religious, because they were like, we'll get the religious right. Before that, they weren't religious. They were just conservative socially I mean, and uh, economically, I think. I'm making a lot of this up. But like, <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. Whatever you're saying, yeah, I'm, so, I'm going with it. So yeah, yeah, they go yeah, like, yeah. So like all the, Jerry Falwell, all these Christians, like, tell you what, we'll give you our vote. It's a strong voter block. Mm -hmm. You got to be anti abortion. And they were like, Reagan or whatever was like, yeah, I could do that. Sure. Let's do that. And then you support all, and I'll get all your votes. That'll put me over the hump. Damn. Yeah. Orthodox Jews vote for vote for Trump because he's strong on Israel. That was his thing. But now really? Biden's pretty strong on Israel, too, so I don't know what they're going to do. But they were like, yeah. they're very socially like liberal, but just Orthodox, not Hasidic. But they're like, he's, he's, he's pro-Israel, so that's it. That's all we care about. And that's all that matters. Other people only care about abortion or only care about taxes or only care about, you know, the border. You know, New Yorkers don't care about the border. That's not going to come into play. Yeah. Wait, the, what's the difference between Orthodox and Hasidic? The frisbee or the fucking full? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the full like fucking dead, dead animal on your head right. with a whole Johnny Cash. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the same. And they have, people, they have some that like pull their fucking uh, tights up to their knee. Call something up, Val. Do something, yeah. Val. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. Fuck, I told bro. you. Come I told what you. The, fuck? Yeah, the laziest Jew we've ever met. Put, pull up a uh, Hasidic Jew first. Uh, <laughs> my God, are you it's downloading just... Netscape Navigator? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Jesus. How many shirtless pictures of Hitler do you have, Val? <laughs> Images. <laughs> Images. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. So okay. So those. So they they have those. Those those are like the 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 kind, and they have these like long things on the on the side. Right. Okay. Um. Now now go to so they have pants. Now go to Satmer. S A A T M E R. Jew. Oh, yeah, that's just Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> One of was just now uh here. So they have the tights. They have the white tights. Okay. Oh, so I've all, seen those. Yep, yep, yep. So you that's different than Hasidic. In, but they're a little different. No, they're also Hasidic, but they're, it's okay. different sex. Okay, okay. And look at this guy. Go, you fucking suck. Is there beef? Piece of shit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, Bobbage, bitch. <laughs> they, do look, they do look angry at each other. Yeah, they just came from synagogue. This guy's carrying his stuff. There must be an Arab around. You can't carry unless there's a wall around the city. They, they string a wire around the whole city. 
What? <laughs> all right, some stuff I'm just I believing. I'm believing. Stuff I go. Yeah, no, it's all true. I have two truths and a lie, but like, uh, <laughs> but uh, what is this? Seventy seconds. Oh, um, so you can't carry unless there's a wall around the city. Jerusalem, you can carry in. Um, but what they do is they string up fucking a string all the way around the city, so it technically counts as a wall. Oh, and whoa. then they have to check it every fucking Friday afternoon. On, on Saturday. Otherwise, he couldn't carry this thing. They'd have to wear it like these guys. These guys might be like, I don't trust it. Let's just wear it. So around blocks of New York, there would be a string. Mm-hmm. There might be wire also. You could connect it to a fence, for, let it run along the fence for a while, then from the fence somewhere else. Does it go like across the street and stuff too? Yeah, it comes up and over it on poles, on like light poles. Oh, it goes like above it. So yeah, you're not yeah. going to like walk into it. Right. No, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Um, anyway. So these guys are like, we're doing our own fucking thing. Look right. how they dress their fucking kids. Like, come on. Well, yeah. actually, that's pretty badass, actually. He's got some swag. That's some swag. Yeah. <laughs> that is some swag. Um, but they're like, well, we're not, we're not gonna not, we're not gonna comply with that. So we're gonna go. But they were like, hey, they keep doing it. And mm-hmm. everyone started getting mad. They're like, padlock the doors. Mm. This is me guessing now. Okay. Okay. And so then they were like, nah, fuck that. We're going to pray. It's like it's like really brings the whole community together. There's the synagogue, right. synagogue and the school is what brings the whole community together. Yeah. So, I guess now after seeing this, they just started digging as a way to get in. As a way to get in, and they went up and into the fucking synagogue. Oh, whoa! Now I now then the question arises. Summer of 2020, mm-hmm. the restrictions were lifted. You can do whatever you want. Right. Yeah. Why are they still using it? Good point. Yeah. So here's what I think. Because Jews be Jewing. And we say that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> on this podcast. And once they had these underground tunnels and this like extra storage space, you don't know what it's like to live in New York. There's no room. There's no mm. room. And they're like, let's put some stuff there. Let's put the old high chairs there. Let's put old fucking whatever we're going to put in there. Let's put all, all the old coats lost and found. Let's just make some room. Or let's do it in rainy days. We can go down there. We can have a second, second like prayer service down there, like a nine o'clock. We only have an eight and eleven. We only have room for eight and eleven. Let's do a nine o'clock. It's the it's a little it's a little boy. It's a- <laughs> <laughs> they can do like they can do like uh, classes and stuff. And so then they just kept using it, and I no one knew about it until the fucking cops and they made that video. And them just coming out like I don't want to say roaches, but like yeah, oh my god, I was, yeah, 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 yeah. how they were coming out though, like mice, or like something. mice, yeah, like pouring out. Yeah, the the, the it optics was of wild. that, and was the crazy. one guy like coming out of the street, like popping up and just like going, I was like, why are you filming? It, it, it's nuts. It, the whole thing's nuts. The one guy was like, I've told everybody I heard Jews underneath my uh, property, and everyone thought I was anti-Semitic. Now I want an apology. He won't get an apology. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, and 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 it's like I don't know how they dug it or what they're they're inventive. Hmm. You know how Jews are. We're smart. We got money. Yeah. We use it for when we need. They probably pulled together the fucking resources from the from the. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see some of these tunnels. Yeah. You know what? I do know you guys are good at building. Yeah. I live on campus. You know, I live on campus. I live yeah. next door to the Jewish fraternity, and every year they build something. And it's insanely gorgeous. The Rolling Stone were a secret. Okay. Or, so they, they said these are Orthodox, not Hasidic. Um, nah, the people don't really know. The show Unorthodox, that's Hasidic Jews. They, okay. they don't really, the people aren't really. They just assume that the same. This guy, this guy's that's my favorite. That's the guy. That's the, yeah, yeah. that's the bomb guy. Yeah, that's He's like. Rules. That's like, man, that's, uh, that is <laughs> anti Jewish <laughs> propaganda a in, a, in a okay. picture. It's a mysterious 50 foot long tunnel beneath. It sparked a riot. Oh, because they were pushing the fucking cops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crown yeah, Heights, like Crown Heights makes sense. So you know about the Crown Heights riots? No. no. Damn. So Crown Heights is a historically Jewish neighborhood. Well, I guess historically it was Native American. And mm-hmm. then and then uh, the whites came in a ship, and then everything oh, changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. then Columbus came and it changed. Mm-hmm. Crown Heights riots. So Jews, I told you, have their own little communities. Right. And so then it became Jewish, and then black came, and white flight happened. And then, But the Jews were like, no, we're here. We got our synagogue. We're not leaving. Mm-hmm. So it was white flight, which you know about, right? Yeah. And then, and, then, uh, and then blacks. And they lived kind of peacefully with each other, you know, um, some robbery, some evictions, you know, back and forth. Um, and then we had, they had their own uh, ambulance service. They had their own ambulance service. They had their own... Um, Lots of things, you know, outreach programs, you know, soup kitchens, stuff like that, for their mm-hmm. own. They just took care of their own. They are also very separatist. So some drunk driver, I think, or some driver, 
hit a black kid and a Jewish kid. And I think it was a hit and run. Call the ambulance. You've heard the story. 911 is a joke. Mm -hmm. uh, the Jewish ambulance got there first. And they picked up the Jewish kid and left the little black girl. And she died. Whoa. And it sparked, uh, I don't know how long, of Whoa. fucking riots. What year is this? 80s, I think. Wow. Yeah. I barely remember that. N 91. 91, okay. Okay, so I was 17. Whoa. Damn. Um, attacked with an Jewish resident, damaged their homes, looted business. Yeah, they were just, they were pissed. Which is fair. I don't know the story if it's like, we only have room for one. I, I don't know why they wouldn't, or they just like, we don't even think to pick up another one. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. I, every time I see a story like this, I'm always like, wait, wait, there must be more to it. There's got to be right. a reason. Yeah. Right, that sounds like Sometimes a... you get an explanation, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I just thought I think it was David Scarelli or Martin Scarelli. Yeah, yeah. And you know, he jacked the AIDS medication to like $1,000 per pill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he went on Legion of Skanks. He goes, you know there's a generic version for $2. And I was like, no. He goes, yeah, there's a generic version for $2. <laughs> so it's the it's 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 the it's the, the the top level that, that you pay 1000 you, I'm not not letting AIDS people get there. You can just get it. It's just not the Viagra. It's the fucking for hims. Right, it's the Kirkland version of yeah, whatever. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He goes, you're out of here. You just ran a store. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's why it's not illegal. Okay. Oh, right. That makes more sense. Right. So I, I always think there must be something more to this. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, damn, yeah. bro. That just blew my fucking brain yeah. apart, man. Yeah. All right, so but it's like they're not there for the community. They're just there for the Jews. So it was like. Right, right. But that's. But that's, it's like bad. That's a level of callousness, though, just yeah. to like leave a dying kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So are these the tunnels? Yeah, yeah. Let's see what's going on here. So what did Rolling Stone say about them? Oh, it's not moving now. Oh, yeah. Are those like stalls? So they would store, look, storage. Right. So the, the theory so you, was they saw the mattress down there, so like sex trafficking. Right. I thought yes. they always go to sex trafficking. Right, because I think they want it to be sex trafficking. They so want it to be sex trafficking. And Jews don't really do that. They wouldn't go through the synagogue. If it was Jews, it'd be Epstein on his own. Right. It'd be his own thing. It wouldn't mm -hmm. be through the city. It wouldn't be through the community. Right. No way. No, people if just, a couple high-level ones like watch each other's back, okay. But anyone finds out about that shit, and there has been, like mm -hmm. in every religion. Right. But Jews generally like, hey, hey we're going to the cops about this. Mm -hmm. oh. They don't cover it up community-wise or transfer you to another community the way Catholics do. Yeah. Right. You know, even Protestants are like, hey, you're out. We're calling the cops. Just Catholics are like, let's keep it quiet. Let's let you keep doing it over there. Because I think all the Vatican fucks, fucks kids. Right. Maybe not sex trafficking, but do you think it was used for anything sexual at all? Well, I, I did see that one of the tunnels was under the woman's part yeah. of the of the whole complex. And to me, that's what it reeked of, of like, oh. Going they're, up and looking? They're, or, they're yeah. meet, or they're both meeting under and fucking. Do you think that's a possibility? Okay, possible. Not really. Not they, really. They, we had a rabbi in D.C. Um, mm -hmm. or Maryland, and he was. So the women have to do this a ritual bath right. every month. Um and then before the high holiday. Damn, look at that. I mean, it looks like it's a fucking horror film. They're going to come it, the uh, <laughs> Reach an abandoned woman in mit mikvah. Mit mikvah, okay. To expand the synagogue. Oh, it was abandoned. Okay. Oh, it was an abandoned one. All right. And they're like, fuck off. Get out. Get out of here. We don't want you here. Look at the cops tr trying to fucking. The Chabad Lub Lubavitch Chabad. movement. Oh, Chabad. Chabad Lubavitch, yeah. Right. Lubavitch. I was close to If I would have been Hasidic, I would have been Lubavitch. Oh, really? Not Satmar, yeah. What's the difference between those two? Lubavitch has the Rebbe. It's like, we want Mas Mas Messiah now. We want the, all those signs. That's mm. the, so they thought they thought the that old rabbi, the head of Lubavitch, was going to be the Messiah. And uh. then he died, and then they were like, fuck. We, we need a no new leader. Messiah? <laughs> we got no leader. We thought it was going to be him. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't, so they were all kind of like floating. Wait, they thought he was just going to live forever? No, no. The Messiah's a man. It's just supposed to like... <laughs> Whatever I talk about, this shit just gets too informational. <laughs> the size of man voted in by all the leaders. So you got to lead us into the next thing. You're going to die at your old age normally. Uh -huh. You can vote just for Messiah? Yeah, but you got to get every all the Jews together. So something would have to start that. Maybe a fucking Gazan war. Um, <laughs> yes. um, uh, uh, anyway, so there's a mikvah, the ritual bath. And so right. there's women, married women, uh, underage women or whatever, or unmarried women don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. But you're unclean while you're on your period. So right. as soon as you start your period, you're unclean until you go to the ritual bath. If you're not having sex with your husband, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be clean. Right. You know? So every month you finish your period. Uh, eight days go by after that, right? Eight days, something like that. Um, Val? I think this it's is when week, you know. seven days. 
seven days, mm-hmm. uh, seven days after the last pe- last drop of blood, right. and then you go whatever. There was this guy, this rabbi in D.C. drilled holes, was fucking videotaping these women, oh, middle aged fucking women, mm-hmm. um, and the cleaning lady found out. It'd be like that. It'd be like behind that thing. Yeah. Okay. So you just dumped it. It's got to be a natural ish body of water. So that's rainwater in there that they collect. Okay. You can also do it in a lake or a stream or or an ocean. Uh, spring water. Spring water. Okay. And that's gonna be forty amot. Oh man, I, I'm remembering all this. Forty uh, units of 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 water. <laughs> forty units of water. That's, it's a measurement unit. Amot. Okay. Um, anyway, so this guy was filming. The cleaning lady was like, I cleaned the, I cleaned the, all the, uh, the, the the stalls and they I and they got the videotape. I clean. And everyone's like, they clean what? He goes, did I buy the videotape? And they're like, what videotape? And she's like, oh. no. <laughs> Bro, no, I don't know, no trouble. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they found a fucking catalog of videotapes of these married. By the way, how fucking lame do you have to be to want to jerk off to a fucking thirty-eight-year-old mother of three? Man, that's like sounds, this uh, porn, dude. <laughs> that sounds like a very specific thing yeah. that if you need it, you truly need it, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's no, crazy. Because you said it, and I was like, uh-huh. I was like, yeah, I immediately kind of got turned on. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, look up. I, it might be Rabbi Wilson, Washington D.C., and then Mikva. Um, I think it's Wilson. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. No, no, no I forget who it is. Anyway, he just got out during COVID. Okay. Um, but they reported him, arrested him. Mm-hmm. He, he, they threw the fucking book at him. They didn't try to like bury it. They were like, "You're a leader, and you were fucking. It's not just some pervert. Yeah, yeah. Right. We were trusting you. Right. And so there was no." Bundle, Washington D.C. Yeah, yeah, six and a half years in prison. Yeah, not enough, not enough. Yeah, so it, very voyeurism, Freundel. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if there if there were if they were doing some weird sex trafficking shit, it would have been shut down immediately. They would have found yeah yeah right. exactly. They w- they would have been like what the fuck? They would have called the cops. They would have been like get this guy out of here. Right. Um, not to say it never happens, but there's monsters in every group. But I'm just right. saying they yeah. report them. Yeah, that guy's a yeah, piece y'all of don't fucking play that shit. shit. No. No. Um, you know, I'm sure, listen, you guys work the door at the store? Yes. You ever take? I robbed them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What are you, what are you so talking about? they had a system of, co- of checks and balances where the cover booth guy writes a ticket, hands it to the, the door guy. The door guy looked at it and would go, that's a free ticket. Hey, how come? And they go, well, they have two tickets. Back then, we used to, anybody who comes from the hotels nearby mm-hmm. would say there's a hotel comp because mm-hmm. the hotels would be like, hey, suggest they come here. Right. We we're failing. So, like, whatever. It's like, oh, they came from the hotel. It's like, oh, okay. And then you'd have to get that or get two tickets from the hotel. Let me see them. And then you show the ticket, rip it a little bit. The waitress would be like, why is this a comp? And you go, like, uh, it's a hotel. It's like, sweet, checks and balances. Unless they're just friends. And then it's just like, ring it up, ring it up, ring it up. Right. And it was just fucking money. Yeah. So they might have a checks and balances. But it's a few of the top ones protecting each other. Right. But anybody from the congregation finds out. It's fucking. It's, yeah, it's over. So they're yeah. not running a huge. Yeah. Because I, I did think, like, there was like, oh, this tunnel ends at a children's museum. And, like, that seems Yeah, crazy. that's crazy. <laughs> they're like, they found a mattress there. Yeah, that's yeah. a myth. They were like, they found something that looked like a mattress. It wasn't. <laughs> right. They have, like, blood stains on it. Or yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Blood stains. It must be this. Like, I don't know. It's also like, I got to dump this somewhere. It's also like, you don't understand what it's like in New York. There is no space. I got offered fucking. A, some NFL player came to see the show, mm-hmm. and his his rep was like, uh, he wants to come. So I was like, oh sure, that's fucking cool. Um, I don't want to get him in trouble because any association with me could get you fucking in trouble. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was just a guy. But they were like, uh, I'd love to get you tickets. I'm like, that's sweet. Yeah, for sure. I love that. And I asked if I could play, and she was like, no. <laughs> I'm like, come on. But I do have to cover up your jersey with the Cowboys, so I'm not a turncoat. Right. And she's like, I, I don't think so. I'm like, not quality minutes. Like punts, late punts. <laughs> Gunner. Uh, what? A gunner. No, I'm saying I want to play on the oh, punt yeah. team towards the end of a game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I was thinking actually literally like what position on the oh, punt yeah, team. Oh, yeah, I'd be a gunner. No, this is a former like uh, – anyway, <laughs> it's an award winner. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh, but they were like he'll get you assigned uh, a, a GW jersey. I think that means game-worn jersey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, hey, I don't have room for that. I have no space for that. I live in New York. There's no space. What am I going to put on the wall? Where am I going to put that? Right. There's no space. I'll have to dump like three shirts to, to, to have that. I'm at max. Yeah, we don't live well. Y'all don't. Why do right. people stay? It's so fun. It's people fucking bathrooms all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun, dude. It's the best. It's literally the best. 
You just walk along, you're randomly walking uh, on the streets, oh, past 10 o'clock. Oh, in my world, things are open past 10 o'clock. So oh, you'll have yeah. stores and oh. restaurants and bars all open uh, <laughs> after. Uh, <laughs> How I miss 10. that. Yeah. Things being open after 10. Yeah, I do miss that. That in is LA. Yeah. I miss that. Yeah, that yeah. is the that is a what? big what? downside uh, of Austin. Nothing's here. What are you talking about? What? Well, yeah, what's things open here 24 7. What are you what? talking what? about? Uh, Stars Cafe, uh, Tyson's Tacos. Tyson's Tacos. Tyson sucks. Suck, yeah, 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 yeah. Tyson's. Tyson's, Tyson's you used to at least be like the fucking uh, the Austin Diner. There's no diner. There's no, there's no diner. You gotta That's go. You gotta Stars go. Cafe Denny's. Is. Stars is okay. Is it 24? Yeah. Where's that? There's also 24 Diner, which is by the whole. 24 Diner is not 24. It is. It is. Is it back to 24? I, I, a lot of things stopped no, being 24 after COVID. 24. It That's should have multiple things to choose from. <laughs> right. I should right. walk from the mothership all the way down to South Congress and pass literally nothing to eat. No, no. you're correct. You're correct. <laughs> you no, can't, can't walk in that. any direction blindly in New York for 30 minutes without That's passing true. things to eat. That's yeah, true. like a lot of food, too. And fruit. And fruit. Multiple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fruit stands there. Yeah. <laughs> By Indians. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Anyway, I think that's what it is. I don't know why they wouldn't say, though. So anyway, that's why also they're holding it, because they need that space. Mm. It's like now you have fucking underground space. I don't know why they still use it to come in and out, though. I mean, that's I, the craziest at thing. At a certain point, too, it's like if you have a tunnel, it would be pretty cool to use the tunnel. It would be pretty right? cool. Right? Yeah, you would just use the tunnel. That you one just guy just popping tunnel. out, he looked like he was scratching it, like he was barely getting out. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's because he was he was like running. He I was think running. I, there's probably a better, easier ways to get out. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, they in the couple of years that they had it, they He's probably like, out. oh, shit, they're filming. Oh, I'm going to be in trouble in this synagogue. They're filming me. I hope this doesn't get out. <laughs> oh, you, you think that guy got in trouble? Probably. Damn, what is yeah. what is trouble involved for that guy? What probably had his sideburns cut off. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no. No. oh, you believed it? Like, it's like their version of Samurai. Yeah, they, they, were not, they were never cut off someone's sideburns. <laughs> yeah. You know where the sideburns is from? Obviously, you don't know what the sideburns <laughs> yeah. are. I didn't know there were fruit stands, though. Yeah. <laughs> you can't cut the four, five corners of your, of your beard with a razor. And so it's one in the middle, uh, two, three jawline. That's one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they just took that, it became custom, like also not with scissors. So then they were like, just let that grow. And so the beards would grow and this shit would grow as a, like a child before you even had beard hair. Mm, so this stuff has been going their whole life. Yeah, and then you can wrap, once you wrap it around, I used to be able to wrap it around. You like air, a next level juice? feels good. Yeah, when you think about something, you unwrap it. Got it. And then you fuck oh, it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rules. Is this turning you on? Yeah, like metal face. <laughs> You're remembering? Is your body reacting to this? Yeah. To, your, to your actual <laughs> youth? That's what the tunnels are for. I don't know if there's more. There must be. There has to right? be. It couldn't be just that. Yeah. So I know a little bit more uh, okay. while I search for some stuff, but I know that they were digging and all of the dirt that they were digging, they were putting into like their old bath house that they weren't using so my question would be like if it was for storage that was storage space that could have been storage space so they i guess maybe wanted more yeah all the all the yeah they put all that dirt in there it was like shawshank when they just kept yeah they kept they, the, I, I dirt, heard the they, dirt they, into the baseball yeah. field yeah the baseball field never got to a thousand <laughs> what's the rolling what's rolling stone say about it oh fact focus discovery this is, this false is claims uh the conflict the supporting tunnels Expansion plan long envisioned, long envisioned by the former head of the movement. Oh, Robbie Schneerson. I remember that guy's name. That hasn't stopped prolific. Okay. So they're trying to expand the synagogue? Wow. Those supporting the That's an in, in that's an insane way to expand the synagogue. Digging underground doesn't feel like it is a good way to do it. So it was discovered because they had to fix pipes underneath the building. Oh. And so the people went to go do their job, and that's when they ran into the tunnels. And so, obviously, the owner of the building was like, fill those in immediately. Right. Then the Jews obviously went back into the tunnels like, no, don't fill these. But no, I imagine the person who owns the building is also Jewish, right? I can't imagine it's just some another, a non-Jewish person. Um. It doesn't feel like... feels like they would have they would have squared that away a long time ago. It was purchased in four, 1940. Yeah, you think they would have bought it, but it's tough to get real estate in New York. <laughs> it's tough to get space. It's tough to get real estate. <laughs> the headquarters expanded to apartment building next door of 770. Oh, this is 770. Oh, this, this is Chabad's, uh, this is uh, Lubavitch's uh, like, 
uh, headquarters. Okay. Seven seventy. We all so seven seventy Eastern Parkway, but we all used to say seven seventy. We got a, we had a, a dollar blessed by the the Baba Cherubi. Mm-hmm. Not blessed, but he'd be like, "Can I see you?" You give him like twenty, he give you one. <laughs> Yeah, but weird he, like, Jewish exchange it. rate is that? Yeah, <laughs> That's crazy. I think my brother had one. I think he spent it on Kino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What religion has more money, the Jews or the Catholics? Catholics, Catholics for sure. Catholics, Catholics they have a war going for them. Jews oh. just invest well. Catholics take over countries, mm-hmm. steal gold. <laughs> Catholics took over all of America's gold. They just took it all from the natives. Catholics, Catholics rule. Yeah, ca- ca- Catholics are brutal, so rich. Brutal, so rich. So rich, they control governments. Yeah, you got you got to be rich when your plan with pedophiles isn't to get rid of them; it's just move them around. Move them around. Move them around. We love pedophiles. Yeah, we yeah. love pedophiles. They make us money. Yeah, that's just so crazy to me, because yeah. I know you guys have old money. We well. do. Have, we invest well, but the Lubavitch ones aren't the richest. They just don't spend it. Mm. Like, they, none of them go on the Chabad ones. They, they don't. They don't. Uh, Hasidic ones. They don't go on vacations ever. Like ever. They just keep working. Keep doing their thing. They don't. They don't spend. Do Do they work? My in- sister goes on vacation, and they're all like, she's hella orthodox, like upper orthodox, and and it's like no one else does. And people have asked me like, what, are they not allowed? I'm like, they're totally allowed. They just don't. They would never go to Kenya on a safari. They just wouldn't do it. I do, don't know why. Do they work in the like all work within the community as well? The women or? all stay at home. Okay. All raise the kids. Oh, there's a lot of kids. Mm. Those uteruses are put to work. Yeah. And um. <laughs> And the, yeah, the, a lot of diamond sales, a lot of like electronic sales, uh, just whatever, just selling. <laughs> yeah, grocery stores. They have lots of stuff. Like, you know, it's a community, so they have right. to have everything. Yeah, right. And then, yeah, they have to give a lot of charity to the synagogue so they can stay in biz. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a wild world, but it's so separate. There's no, they don't really connect with. But every once in a while, you'll see one at a comedy show. Really? A Hasidic Jew. And I like to call them frontier Jews because <laughs> they are allowed to go. They just don't. Mm. But these guys are like, um, my whole day is studying the Talmud and the Torah, you know, praying and whatever. And then it's like, I'm going to go to the stand. I'm going to go see a show. And it's like they're allowed. To, and people are cursing and talking about fucking. And they're just having a good time. They're just like, it's just like, it's like going to the Cotton Club back in the 50s or 60s if you're like a rich white guy. Like, let me check out what this culture is. Yeah. You know? And, and they're they're cool. They're cool. And then I've, I've, I used to hang out with some from Minneapolis. They came to a show on a free ticket, and then they came back the next <laughs> year. Yeah, they would, Minneapolis would give out tickets. Yeah. Rick Brunson, if you bought merch, you'd get two free tickets. <laughs> so the Ed comics would fucking crush on merch because, like, two free tickets to another show, non-special event, if you just buy any merch. So they would just, like, for $20 T-shirt, they'd be like, that's two free tickets. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So these guys came on one of those tickets, uh, then bought whatever. They came back the next year, and they're like, hey, you should come over for Saturday lunch. We'd love to have you. And we just started talking. It was so fun to talk to them again because they were like, what's the religious rule on marijuana? And we like break it down from the Talmud. What's wrong? What's not wrong? Like, well, your lungs are a little bit put off by it. But that's not enough to make it no. So you can smoke weed? You can't do it on the Sabbath because you can't operate any sort of fire. Okay. So you can't smoke cigarettes on the Sabbath either. Okay. Cigarettes are far worse because it's actually bad for you. Mm. So, But you can still smoke cigarettes. You can have chicken skin. You're not supposed to do something bad for you. But it's like, you know, you live your life. <laughs> um, but the only law against against uh, uh, marijuana would be wasting time. People's man. Yeah, no, that's a law. You can't that's do a that. Law? You're, you're, just, it's, you're just not supposed to. It's a waste. Of, yeah, a waste of time is like a bad thing. But also, like, you can justify like, no, no, I want to, I want to play sports. That's not a waste of time. Right. It's okay. like we got to let loose a little bit. Yeah. We right. Study more. <laughs> yeah. So that's about as much as it gets. It's a super minor one. It'd be like a. It'd be like jaywalking. It'd be the jaywalking of laws. Mm. <laughs> okay, know? okay, okay, you okay. Know? It's not yeah, like yeah. A you're not gonna get in trouble, trouble. No, just, no, just, no. Just why are you doing that? Yeah, the rabbi might hit you. But come on, yeah. get back to work. That's right. about it. That's fascinating. Yeah, man. it's pretty funny. But they're so separatist. You see them. They're so separatist. Yeah, it's really, clearly they're they're yeah. fighting the police. I don't know yeah. any community that would be like, let's take on the police uh, not like just that. To be like, oh shit, the police are here. They're like, ah, oh, fucking get out of here. Because they're like, get the fuck out of here. Right. We're doing our thing. Yeah. <laughs> that is the energy. That is the energy. It was, it was, and those, you could tell the police were like, "Fuck, there's a lot of them." <laughs> yeah. I don't know, know Krav Maga. <laughs> yeah, but that was so many of y'all. Though. Yeah, that is that is that is kind yeah. of like, oh shit, I'm being overwhelmed with Jews right now. That is kind yeah. of like a scary situation. I tell you what, though, that was a black church. 
and a bunch of black people started pushing the cops, guns would have been out. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if they would have been used, but they would have been out. I think they were more sure. also surprised. Yeah, like, they're these like, Jews are about to get violent. Like, they're about to really, like... And they kept popping out of the things, like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I would, if I saw a mob, like, enough, guys, guys, stop. Hey, stop, stop. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, that's enough. <laughs> because, like, they'll overpower you and fucking eat you alive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's so interesting. <laughs> hey, all right, we have another question for you. Okay. So when we started... Yeah. Remember when you did that? Two uh, weeks ago? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. And we got on the internet and we found that you gave advice. Do you remember when you gave the advice? Yeah. Talk? I don't remember when, but I remember. Because mm -hmm. yeah. when we started, that was like a thing. Oh, when you started comedy. Yes. Not this podcast. Not this podcast. Yeah. When we yeah. started yeah. comedy, comedy, that yeah. was like a thing. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's pretty we were, cool. What's the name? Fucking recorded it. Yeah. Was who, it supposed who to be recorded? recorded? Um, fucking long COVID or something. Ate my brain. He's at the store. He's, he's, Maybe Persian. Cool guy. Maybe Persian. Has comic? an accent. Yeah, comic. Has an accent. Yeah, he would do a lot of stuff of of uh, of, of uh, roast battle stuff. Not the house racist. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah, but, Persian roast battle. I don't um, know. Has an accent. It's fucking shit. Oh, I can't remember his name. He recorded it. Okay. And then he was like, "Do you mind if I put it up?" I was like, "Oh yeah, okay, good good idea." Yeah, yeah, that was great. Yeah, and then uh, it was out. Yeah, it was interesting though. What decent advice? It yeah. was good. It was great advice. Some good yeah, tax yeah. advice. Some good like regular like yeah. Well, that I, you should think of what I remember most about it is you being like you don't want to be thirty eating Jack in the Box every day. Like right. that's not that's not cool anymore. <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm thirty, I'm like oh my god, yeah, he's exactly. I, I gotta go back and listen to that. And see what's <laughs> see what's like right and wrong anymore. Because <laughs> everything's way changed now with clips. It's way changed. That's Literally, what we wanted to ask you. Okay, is yeah. like if you were to give that speech now to a young comic, how do you even begin that? Yeah, like, what would you say now? Like Same well, how to navigate this. Well, there's, the world there's now. two different versions of success you got to remember. Mm -hmm. There's financial success and creative success. And a lot of times the financial success stops your ability to develop creatively. Mm -hmm. So there's been guys, no names, but like who went straight from some other level of fame straight to comedy. And they don't do open mics. And right. they've never, they won't be good. They, they're some of the worst comics of all time because they don't do open mics. They've never done an open mic. And they never will. No, and, yeah, uh, and they're not it. even too famous to do them, but they're too good to do them. And so they won't do them. And you need to do that. You need to learn heart. You need to get all that stuff. And so at some point, you need to struggle. You need to do that. And then at some point, you can be like, okay, I think I'm on my way. I think I can get some success and still keep developing. Yeah. But those early years, you really need a bunch of fucking beatdowns. And if you ain't getting it, you ain't getting it. I had to talk to Pete Davidson. He, he was great. And then when he got SNL, I'm like, hey, dude, let's, let's – took him around the block. And I was like – you, you got a good head on your shoulders for comedy. Like, they're going to come at you and tell you you're, you're great, but you're not. You're just good. And you got to remember, like, they're going to treat you like a hot woman. Damn. And hot women comics don't get fucking real advice. Yeah. They no. say, hey, that crowd sucked. Don't worry about them. Ugly men, uh, comics, get told, like, <laughs> yeah. hey, you suck. It's real. Yeah, that yeah. suck tonight. You get razzed at best and you got to sit on it. You got to sleep on it. Yeah. And it fucking sucks. And you're like, I don't want to let that happen again. And if you get someone to go, no, 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 that you did, misunderstood, that crowd was just bad. You go, oh, okay. Oh, all right. That was, that was okay then. And your C pluses you think are B pluses instead of like your C pluses are C pluses. Mm -hmm. And you're like, that sucked. So with these clips, it's like, I get it. Because also at some point, if you're 10 years in, there's a lot of guys who struggle and never get a sitcom or never get any financial success. And then it becomes harder too. It's like, I can't keep doing fucking open mics or just $15 spots at the comedy store. Right. When I'm 55 years old, that's not good either. You need you need to pay some bills eventually. You know that's a twenty five year old's game is to like be broke, right? Yeah, and so you need some success, but later. And if it's too long, it's it's a bad. So I don't know what the exact line is, but if you're three years into comedy and you're headlining, not if you're headlining, if people are coming to see you. So I don't know where your reps are gonna go. I don't know where your reps are gonna come from. Right, because you need real reps where people don't know who you are. Yeah, I mean that's what I was talking about the creek. Mm -hmm. You know, you need like different rooms there's this lady kylie sparrow in in, in in um australia she said it the best like it's no secret do bad rooms that's the secret it's just do bad rooms yeah. a lot and so like you get great crowds they're fun to do right. and you need them so the laugh factory open mic used to be that thing where it was like a kill it was every, but you can only do it once a month or once every six weeks i forget and then it was like but you needed it because i'm like i don't know if i'm i don't know what i'm doing mm -hmm. and then you get that and you're like sweet i'm i am good okay that'll mm -hmm. keep me going for a little while but not consistently. 
Yeah. Consistently, all those factory comics never, those weren't the ones you look at. But then the store comics were amazing. When my agent found the store, he came, he represented Renazizi, who was on year two of the league without an agent. Wow. What? Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. What? Like a hit show. No wow. agent. And he was like, I'll sign you. And then he would go see him. And he'd be like, who the fuck are all these guys? Because they were like, don't go to the store. The, the, the industry vibes, like, don't go to the store. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Partially because Mitzi was like, I'm not going to give you free parking. I'm not going to let you in for free, even though their company would pay for it. So they all go to the improv where they get like free everything. And they see all the celebrities. And, and Justin got there. And he was just like, there's a gold mine here. Because he grew up in like Westlake. Mm. And so he's like, the store was like a place. It was right. like a known place. But he's like, don't go there. And he went there. And he goes, I found Brett Ernst. No one was representing him. I found Joey Diaz. I found all these fucking killers. I was late ad. Um, I found all these guys that were just really strong, but no one knew them. And he goes, I, I know I can get them into like a, an improv or a fucking funny bone for 1500 or 2000 you know, and just to get work and they'll crush. And he goes, I can get it from there. They already have the fucking heart. They already have the base because we developed an obscurity. Those days it was eight people in the showroom, the whole show, fucking battles. Door guys were going on stage. No one was able to throw out hecklers. She had to learn how to deal with it. Um, yeah, so I'm not against the clips, but there's a, I don't know. There's a lot of clip fishing going on. Yes, where you where you watch someone on stage and it's like, oh, you're clearly doing this to try to generate you're a clip. You're trying to get a clip. Yes. Instead of, instead of what Schultz did was like, hey, sometimes you get into a crowd work thing. It may mm -hmm. as well have it, which I'm like, true. But then they go for it, and it's like one after another after another. And it's like, dude, you haven't developed yet. You're yeah. looking to put a button on this thing in this moment instead of milk it and, and practice you know it's like you know when you can baseball you put a fucking the donut on there yeah to, to swing harder to get, yeah. yeah right yeah and they bucket. wouldn't do that they're like no i gotta hit a home run right now and it's like that's not the way to practice you need to practice bunts all day you need to golf you need to practice out of the sand all day you would just want to like play a game they talk about aau coaches they play like six games a day or, or a week mm -hmm. practice one day a week play play five days a week and in europe they practice five days a week and play one and they're lapping us, basketball. They're lapping us. Their fundamentals are so far down, you know? Right. And now that they grew up on basketball, now it's like, oh, shit, yeah, we're not the best. We're not. It's not even an upset if you beat the U.S. No, it's, it's like they have great players. Uh, and their fundamentals are so good. Yeah. And we're just fucking trying to get fucking highlight reels to get, especially with the new contract where they can, like, make money in college. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, I'd rather do a windmill dunk than learn how to fucking figure out where my teammate's going to be and hit him for two points. That's a great fucking point. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, but you got to self motivate. I think it is hella serious, but like you got to self motivate to find those bad rooms to do the mothership, which is a fucking laugh factory, right? A victory a, lap. Yeah. 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 And they're like that was sweet. Now let me go do some shitty show, especially you guys because you're not known. Yeah. Right. So like it's tough for me here because this is this is this city more than anywhere. It's like I I, I get recognized too much. I don't like it. Yes, um, you, yeah, that, that, yeah. And if people I go up to Brian's here. room, if I go up to the creek, it's like, oh my God, I don't get that in New York. Mm. I just get like, oh, okay, next guy. You yeah. know, a couple of people are like, what? But like a couple at most. So, but you guys have the benefit of not being known. And so while you're there, get all those bad rooms, learn everything you can about situations. And then you'll be in a big moment. Like there used to be big showcases for somebody, you know, and then you'll mm. get some heckler. And it was like, I saw Freddie Soto have that. He had some heckler, and he just dealt with them easily, kept going, got a development deal. But everybody else would have been like, it would have been great, this fucking heckler. Yeah. He, he just saw it as a hurdle. He jumped right over it. No big deal. He's right. been in practice in the store late night. That was nothing. You know? When Caparulo did New Faces, people were like, oh, it's tight crowd. And he goes, tight crowd? There's 300 people in there. I've never done this big a room. Tight crowd? And he just fucking destroyed development deal. You know? So Because he was ready. You just got to be ready for everything. You just get better and better. You work on your fucking, you know, you work out, you work out, you work out. I, I don't know. So the clips are like, I get it. I, I, I wouldn't say be poor on purpose. <laughs> you know, I, I get it. And there's guys like Jeff Osmus and, and, and he's funny as shit. Yeah, he's funny as shit. He opened for me a year and a half ago and needed the work. And now he's headlining everywhere. Right. Um, clips, too. Yeah, exactly. Just clips. But he's funny. And he's probably how long has he been in the game before he started releasing clips on that level? He, Ten years, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, but that's he was already a headliner who just wasn't getting work, right? Um, not a <laughs> fake one. Like he he could headline here or there, just wasn't getting work. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like everybody wants like, well, that guy got big on clips. I want to get big, and it's like, yeah, but still, what, what? Where's your practice though? Right. Sure, do a clip here or there, or or have a week and just get clips all week, 
and then get back to fucking work. You know, get back to developing material. Also, I was talking to Maddie Wiener about it, and, and she's like, and I agree. It's like, that's not my thing. That figure, hey, where are you from? What's your shirt? What's right. let me, let me get, what do you That's work? not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to write bits. Yes. I'm trying to write bits inside specials. Bits part of like a bigger thing that you're saying about the world. So it's like, I get the joy of crowd work. It is fun. We've all been in those moments. So you want to be ready for it. But I, I don't know. I'm looking to get my, I'm tweaking material. And it's like for Big J, he should do more clips. You right. know, he's the best at crowd yeah, work. He's it's it's the, such a natural thing. And he's really talking to people. He's not doing the hacky thing. He's really talking out a weird thing. And it's what he does all the time anyway. He was doing that style before anybody was recording anything. You know, he would do all crowd work and then work in a few bits. Um, so, so it's like, it ain't us. And so you see everyone else getting success. You're like, maybe I should do crowd work clips. Like, no, no, you shouldn't. Stay the course. Do what you do, not what they do. Right. Great. They do that thing. Great. Congrats. You know, but I feel a pull even. But it's like, it ain't my thing. You know? I'll have moments, though. But I'm like, is that recorded? Can I get that? Yeah. Right. You know? Or I'll do, like, topical stuff. Like, a tell. I wish a tell would have recorded all this topical stuff over the years. Because he was always, like, he always saw it as, like, an obligation of the comic to, like, do something that's in the news right now. Right. You know? Um, and, and until he can't do it anymore. Until people are like, ah, we don't, we don't know this reference fully anymore. Like, Rachel, Rachel Dole is on. You could have done bits about her for... Probably six months, and then at some point, like people kind of know she is, but it doesn't spark an evis like a visceral like reaction to it. Yeah, you have to kind of remember, right? But I remember a telco, and there was this guy in Austria who had a dungeon, a sex dungeon. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Fritzl, yeah, Fritzl, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was like doing bits about it. And I'm like, this ain't gonna go on a special, man. This is gonna be done in like no time. But it was like, yeah, but it's not done right now. And I'm gonna mine this for jokes right now. And then it would have been cool if at the end of that week or two, he'd be like, hey, clip, clip put that up. Right. Because it was so funny. It was a tell-written stuff. Right. So I'll do that sometimes where it's like the submersible or the tunnels yeah. or something like that. It's like, oh, put it put it up. You know, work it for like a week or so and then put it up before it's like completely gone. Or I'll do like, let me do 10 sets in two days on just one topic and try to work a joke and then put it up. But it's like, it, but it's fun. But like, I don't know. If you, I don't know. I'm not a crowd work guy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, I do feel the pull. I, what you said, feeling the pull. I do feel the pull of like, oh, should I start doing more crowd work? Uh huh. Keep it up but with the Joneses. Do, yeah, because we yeah. also not. Crowd but work you also guys. on yeah. your own should work on crowd work. Yes. You know, yes. and not record it. You know, that's and that's what we were talking about with the late night spots at Mothership yeah, and the, on Mondays and, the, and, and Sundays. And the little boy. Yeah, that's like, where you. It's yeah. fun to do. And I go in there sometimes. And I'm like, I don't feel like doing it. Hey, what's up with this? What do you guys, What do you guys do yeah. for a living? Right. It's just fun. It's not for a clip. It's just fun. Yes. Mm. Let's see if we can mine something and have some fun together. Right. And I can ask, and I can get, I like, I try to, especially at Sunset, try to get somewhere that's not, where do you work, yada, yada. It's like, oh, yeah. man, I got to a place where it's like, I wow, I was having a real conversation, or yeah. we got to a real moment. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. It's like, what you, hey, what, what are those shoes? Are those Air Forces? I've always wanted that. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like, no, they're this. I'm like, damn, I don't know shit about shoes. Do you? I don't know. It's just something more yeah. real. And or then you, you get into bits from there. Or like right. you, are you? What's your relationship like with your mom? Or just something yeah, like that. Exactly. And then you, and then you right. see somebody have, give you a real answer, and now we're in a completely different place. Yeah. I used to get bits out of it from, like, I remember, like, a, a pro-gay marriage joke back before it was legal. And it was like, who's against it? What? And people, some people were. I'm like, what's up? Like, why? I tried to be, you have to set up the situation where, like, they can be open to talk. Mm -hmm. Like, why? What's going on? Like, like I get it. that everyone's. Like, and I remember one guy going, well, they're going to teach it in our schools. And then I was like, which was a big thing. And I was like, wait, do you think they're going to teach your kids how to be gay? And he's like, yeah, I guess so. I'm like, I don't think that's it. <laughs> I think it's just like they're going to use like Adam and Steve as references instead of like Adam and Eve. Yeah. Right. Or not Adam and Eve, like Adam and Sarah, and Sarah, you know? Right. Uh, and it's like, and he's like, oh, yeah. So that just became part of the bit. It was like the people who think they aren't are going to think that they're going to teach in our schools, but it's not that. It's like you get it from them. Yeah. Right. But, but also they're in such a rush to put shit up. That like you could have gone to have a bit go from a B plus to an A plus, but it's that it's that it goes to a B it goes from a like, C minus to a B plus within like three or four days or a week or even sometimes right away or a month and then it's like now keep working it until it's like right. gold yeah you know from silver to gold it's like you gotta keep working it and you're in a rush to fucking succeed yeah I feel like no one uh, does the thing anymore. At least you, you very rarely meet a comic who's like, man, how long have you been doing that bit? And they'd be like, oh, I've been doing that one for like eight years. Yeah. Like where there's like, yo, I'm just like, I'm just, 
But like Ron White had Tater Salad for how long? Like, it's yeah. not like you're still not doing other bits, but it's crazy that no one is like, no, I'm gonna hold on to this one. Yeah. And just keep Yeah, I had that for this week. People were like, is that a new bit? I'm like, no, it's old. I'm like, how old? I'm like, probably five, six years. I'm like, but your Jew thing. I'm like, before that. <laughs> I just didn't, right. include, <laughs> I didn't <laughs> include it in that special. It didn't go, but yeah. Yeah. And then but then it, they're strong. Yeah. Right. And you can right. put it away for a year. Well, it's there, it's ready. I think bring it a, back out when it's time. A big thing that happened when Louis started putting out one a year. Everyone was tried it, to keep up. Everyone was like, "I got to put one out one a year." And the and, the, and no one ever talks about how deep in the game Louis was I when know. he started doing that. Like, he was Louis like twenty years it. in. I'm like, Louis's yeah. Louis though. Yeah, Louis, he's, yeah. In the argument of best comic of all time. Yeah, yes. he's twenty years in and he's one of the goats. That's yeah, a different so like, thing. So like, yeah, I, and also that's all he was doing. You're on Instagram all day. <laughs> so like, wh- you're not doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't mind turning over material. You should, mm-hmm. but like, I, I don't know. Yeah, you got to work hard at it. You can't just be like, ah, eh, my hour's done. Or maybe you can. Also, we had CDs. There's no CDs anymore. We did have CDs. Yeah, albums yeah, aren't really no a thing. So it's like you may as well record a, a special. It won't get a lot of views, but if it gets like ten thousand views, that's more CDs than we ever sold. You know, on iTunes. So it's like, sure, it'll just be an unknown like early. Special. Well, now it seems like you do the special for the clips if you're not known. I, I disagree hella with that. But it seems like that's what people are doing. It, it is. I've had it. real yeah. deep ideological discussions with people, and I think that's way wrong. Really? I think we have an opportunity at any moment to record a clip whenever we want at the, mm-hmm. at the stand, at New York Comedy Club, at, at, at Cellar, not at this place, but anywhere you can bring your camera. Everybody's mm-hmm. bringing their camera. You can get clips. Special should be a special. Mm-hmm. You want to write a fucking piece for fucking The Atlantic? That's not your novel. That's a, in the meantime. Now, mm. after you do the special and it holds together as a, as a fucking thing, as an actual there's got to be a reason why you're doing a 90 or 80 or 70 or 60 or 50. Why is this other five minutes going in there? What, what does this have to do with it? Or it's just a collection. Van Halen was just a collection of songs. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Other, other songs are all about like one thing. Yeah. Other albums, I mean, one thing. So it's like, okay, choose what your thing is. Put it out as a big piece. Unless you don't want to do specials. That's also fine. That's also fine. But if you want to do a special, make it that thing. And once it's done, it's like, oh, now I can get clips out of this. Mm. But you shouldn't be thinking this is for clips. You can just make clips. Me and DeStefano were talking about it really hard. We can just do clips. Right. Put something big out. Or, or it's not a special. Yeah. It's just a collection of clips. You can just do the clips. You can do them all the time. Why spend a bunch of money on a recording? God, well, yeah. Yeah, well, it's the, it's the I did a special. It's like, it's that. It's the it's Well, then the you got to make it special then. The, yeah, yeah. A lot of comics to me... But listen, also, this seems negative. Comedy's in a great spot. Like, everyone's looking at each other's, like, YouTube clips, and we're mm-hmm. all growing pretty fucking fast. Like, I can only compare it to, like, skateboarding with the YouTube era. Right. Of, like, they can see tricks instantly instead of passing around a tape. Mm-hmm. Like, you can see everybody's stuff. You right. can see all the L.A. comics, all the New York comics, everybody, not even specials. Yeah. You can see every. You can see Jeffrey Osmus. Yeah. Consistently and see what he's doing. And so, or just, that. If you're a scroll. new comic, you can just see... Wow, right. look what they're doing. Yeah, somebody really good. It is fun when you see a clip and you're like, damn, that is a great That's joke. That's funny. Good yeah, angle. That's a great bit. Who is this guy? What's this? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, let me watch more of his clips. And you never Absolutely. would have seen it. I've, I've, yeah. What a local killer. Right. That guy who did the act out of the soccer goal. Right. Yeah. We never would have seen a Glaswegian comic. No, no. In what so, world? You know, on a low-level Glaswegian <laughs> comic? No fucking way. <laughs> so it's cool. You get to see these things and see what's possible. But, but I'm not thinking you're being negative. I think I, in my head you're coming from like a very artist perspective of like, no, that. You're talking about the art form, not a way to clip or make money. Right, you're right. So, right, so, right. so you're talking about is it, are you talking about financial success or creative success? So like, are you bragging about this or are you like saying I'm big? And you see who the sellouts are when they talk about how many tickets they sell. <laughs> oh yes. You know? Yeah, oh yeah. You're like we see when they get off the road and say, How was your how was your set this week? And they they talk about and Patrice talked about it. you talk about how much merch you sold, dude. We're on a different page. Oh. You say like sold out. I added shows. Like okay, I'm talking about like did you tie the whole thing together? Did right. you make callbacks work? Did you have a great heckler you dealt with perfectly? That's what I want to hear about. If you're talking about that, right? I don't need to hear if you hit your bonus or not. Yeah, yeah did you hit your bonus or yeah, not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. how'd it go? It's like I mean, I, I've had it. It's like eh, yeah, it, just, it wasn't tying it together this weekend, or like the Saturday show, the Friday show at the mothership. It's like it just wasn't there. And it was still good. Everyone left having a good time. Right. But I was like, it wasn't there. And I was like, then it was off. My game wasn't tying it together in the way I want. I'm trying to piece it all down right now. And then Sunday was the better one for that, mm. for sure. I was like, really thought it out, had long talks about it. And it was like, it had an arc, like closer. So you, the, over the course of the weekend, you pretty much tied your set together. 
Yeah, I mean, I had a little bit. Day one was like I hadn't headlined for like two weeks, so I was like, oh, what are all the bits and what order and how much? What do I say the things I'm trying to say? Right. You got to time out like when you're like doing setups. Kill, kill, kill. It's like, okay, I've earned a setup. I've earned a, a 20 second <sighs> dry setup now. Mm, you know? Where, where they'll listen to you. Well, they'll listen to me and they want to breathe for a second. I'm like, okay, now I can put it in. Um, but then I got to go right back to heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And now I'm doing this thing too where I'm doing this and I always feel angst. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, there's no jokes. I'm, I, have to like, I think I have to fully commit to no jokes for like 10, 15 seconds, say something, and then go to a joke instead of like half ass it and feel uncomfortable. I have to like, no, no, here's what I'm saying. Right. You got to put your shoes on one shoe at a time, whatever it is, you know, I, I, but I'm considering that. I don't know if that's right or wrong. You're considering just like adding just a long space where they're not exactly talking. Well, I'm, just not, I'm not like going, not I'm not like listen. trying to punch up a serious point, like a setup. I'm like, I can do a setup for 10, 15 seconds and not even try to make a joke instead of feeling awkward. Like there should be a joke in here, like right. lean into not doing a joke. You've definitely and then going. Bah, 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 bah. Yes. Yeah. You I know? like that. Yeah. And you've but definitely that, built enough credibility with the audience to yeah. do that. Too. But also, I always feel weird. I'm like, there should this should be laughs, but it's like, but, but maybe you're just spacing it out. Like you're pulling your, your, th you're reeling back in your fishing rod so you can like cast it, it out. Yeah. You can't be like fishing as you're doing it. I guess you can, but like whatever. I always think uh, that it's powerful when you're when you're fully in it and you're having like a great set, yeah. and you go that twenty second setup with like no laughter in it. But they're all listening. Yeah, they're listening. And they're Chappelle's all in really it. good at that. Yeah, yeah, when you have them, there's yeah. something extra powerful about that. Yeah, but then also it's like, yeah, yeah. But I hear what you're saying too, because it's like I've never heard anybody. It's cool to hear a headliner say that too. Of like, well, I'm doing that. Of like, how much credibility did I earn for this exactly. setup right to be there. this long? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'm, I'm always thinking not about the people who know me, about the people who don't. Yes. Mm. So those people, are the ones who are gonna be like, uh. And I see a lot of celebrity comics talk about their celebrity, and it's always some. The only really guy I ever saw do it coming up, the only guy I ever saw do it well was Richard Pryor because he was referencing a national news story of him catching on fire right? yeah. that everybody knew. And then I didn't really see anybody justify doing that until Louis, until Louis's apology thing. Uh, I'm sorry, or whatever it is that it's one, called. Yeah. Yeah. Even the Chappelle stuff, I'm just like, may, may, maybe him. Because it's so in the news, everyone's talking about it. Yeah, but it's and I will like, say at least he tries to sometimes blend where he is talking about a topic. But I get what you're saying; it's way more celebrity. It's not. It's if like I 50, don't know you, am almost. I going to get this? Yeah, I was doing right. Q and As. I'm sorry, I do the Jew stuff. I do Q and As during check drops. Right, and I'd be like, I'd be like, uh, ask me any question. I would get material that way. Ask me any question about Judaism. I've mm -hmm. done 45 minutes for you now, 50 minutes, whatever it was. Like now, I've got your trust. You can ask anything, and they'd ask real questions. And I'd be like, oh, oh, I see what you're thinking. And I'm like, oh, people think this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. There'd be a lot of the same questions. And I'm like, that has to be a joke then. But um, anyway, they'd be like, they, they ask me about me sometimes. Um, not how did you grow up in Judaism, but they'd be like, you know, what's Joey Diaz like? I'm like, no, no, we're just Jew questions, just Jew questions. And one time in Houston, I just like fell to it. I was like, they were asking me about Bert or something. And I was like telling a story. And I was like, fine, all right. And I told a story about Bert. Uh, I was like, he's this, he's that, whatever it was. And then some some black dude with his chick, he was like, raised his hand, like, yes, sir, what? And he goes, uh, who were those people? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, you're wrong. You're right, I'm wrong. You, he was just there for a Saturday night. He was just buying tickets for a show. And he's right. having a good time. I didn't right. tell him three weeks early, you know? Yeah, he yeah. was just buying tickets to a comedy show. That'd be cool. And then he's like, what is all that? <laughs> I was enjoying all this until like, who, why would I know who that is? Right. Yeah. Not like my friend Bert. It just go. Bert said this. You know, John. You can't be like Hassan came and told me like that would work in this conversation, but yeah. not nationally. I have this friend named Hassan. Right. You, you got to set it up. Where it could be. Uh, they're bringing their girlfriend to see the show, <laughs> and they don't know you. You can't do these references. You can't. Shane doesn't do references to Matt and Sheen's Sacred Podcast. No. He'll, he'll reference the girls who were dragged here by their boyfriends. You know, yeah. Right. I bet a lot of you have no idea what the fuck I am, but you're just like, I don't even like it. that. All right, you're referencing the room, but not your past. So anyway, that's how it happens a lot with celebrities. But yeah, you got to win over the people who don't know you. My special had six million views. I probably have five hundred thousand fans. So five and a half million. Let me check this guy out. Right. So that's who you got to impress. So that's who you got to do. That's why you got to do. 
fucking shitty you know, rooms. shitty rooms and people right. who don't know you. Right. You got to keep your skills sharp. You got to win bro. them over. Mm. But I yeah. get the idea also, like, if you're a giant, if you're Kanye, you're, you're not trying to win over new fans. You're just like, you will know who I am if you bought a ticket. Right. You know? So I, I get that way, too. It's just not the way I do it. Yeah, it's not the way I want to do it. I want to win people over. That's what I like. I like making people who don't know me laugh at shit that's making other people leave the room. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I like that. I like that. This teller, I get so many walkers. This is a big bouncer who's always like, you always they come crying for you. <laughs> thing is like from somewhere. Like, what do you mean? It's like, no, whenever they cry, it's you. I know it's you. Every time. Yeah. They come cry. They leave crying. It's you. <laughs> And yeah, I'm like, that's yeah. Crazy. And I'm always like, but then I leave crying. So I was like, which bit was it? Because it's never one bit. It's like, could have been yeah. one of four. Right. You know, it's either Holocaust or Down syndrome or fucking uh, Hamas and Gaza or whatever. And they're just like, they just get mad about their thing. Yeah. Right. But mostly everyone's laughing. Mostly everyone's having a good time. I don't, right. I, I do enjoy them walking out doors only because everyone else is laughing. Right. It, it is an interesting type of person, the guy who only gets mad at their thing. They're fine at laughing yeah. at everything else, yeah. but their thing comes up, and yeah. it's like, well, now this is too far. Yeah. It's if like, nobody's laughing, I'm not happy. Right. Yeah, if nobody's yeah. laughing, yeah. then people walk out, then it's like, yeah. man, what did I do? Then, then yeah. I fucked up. <laughs> but then the problem nowadays is they'll walk out, tell a bunch of people online, and it spreads from a 140-seat a room to 150,000. Right. So you have 150,000 people being mad at you because it was told, look at this guy. Yeah. And 139 people were like, no, we had a good time. Right. Yeah. You know? So right. it's like the room is actually, you're making a room bigger than it actually was. Well, comedy is that big now, what you just said, of that it, the hate on it is kind of crazy. Like, how fast, because the moment that you're, you're famous now in comedy, it's like the gossip about you is God, even damn. more famous. Well, well yeah. there's, an in, there's an industry that's built on comedian gossip now, which is wild, which is how big comedy is. And we've seen gotten. that blow, like, like yep. bro, the, those podcast clips would be like, does Ari Shafir and Sh Shane Gillis secretly hate Matt? Right. And it'll have five million views. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Click, baby. I have, I have multiple <laughs> documentaries about me. Yeah, 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 yeah. what the fuck? And yeah. it's, it's people just outside of the world who kind of know kind what's of get going it, but on. But also don't get but it. But don't get it. They're also yeah, yeah. willfully ignorant that what you say on stage is not a statement. Right. It's like, yeah. well, you know that. You know anything that he says is not a statement, but you're like, look what he says. What he said. Look what they say. Look what they, this is their stance. Rogan has a good bit about it. He goes, if he called me, well, I don't want to say it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but, like, yeah. but we have noticed that. So that is interesting. That yeah, that it's, it's, it's so big. You have to deal with it's that. so big. But it's like, but you don't really have to deal with You have to ignore all of them. Yeah, they ignore like, all of them. You can hate yeah. me if you want. And you'll get some death threats. You'll get some cancellations because they'll call them bomb scares, you know? <laughs> yeah, that But that, it's just like, what happens. are you going to do? Not do whatever you think is funny? Yeah. Because I've had lots of times where I'm like, I think this is funny, but this might get me in trouble. And then you do it, you're like, fuck. And sometimes I'm like, it's just not worth it right now. I have a big thing coming up. I'm not going to do this right now. Mm -hmm. like, let me hold it. Or I'll, I remember one, I, after Stop Asian Hate, I made a video, a black and white video. Uh, I forget what it was, but I sent it to all my comedian friends. And they were all like, don't post that. And I'm like, I'm not going to, but I'm going to get laughs from you comedians. Yeah. So I'm, right. I'm posting it to this text and this text and right. this text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you I'm know? still getting that Yeah, that I want to get some laughs. <laughs> yeah, I made yeah, a yeah, funny yeah. joke. I made a funny video. And yeah. I want people to see it. But yeah. I know what it's going to do. It's not worth it. But other times I'm like, I think this might get me in trouble. I don't know. And I do it and no trouble at all. And I was like, oh, I almost didn't post that. Yeah. And you can't even tell. So what are you going to do? Hold yourself back because of what might happen? What might happen because of fucking lunatics who don't get it? Or you got to completely ignore them on purpose, do what you think is funny. Right. And the reality is the thing you could get quote unquote canceled for isn't something that you would even think would yeah, you get canceled for. Yeah, that's usually what it is. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. wait, that one? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've done so much worse. And in hindsight, you're always like, come on, you had to think that. I'm like, no, only because it's crazy reaction. Right. But ahead of time, you're like, oh, no, I think twice. Right. I've done. Yeah, I've said almost, and done. You're right. It's almost never the ones you think you get no. in trouble for. No, because I've said and done so much worse than whatever the thing I got in trouble for yeah. is. It's crazy that this is the thing that took off. It's crazy that you've been doing comedy in both eras, though. You've done comedy yeah. in the era of you can there that. That couldn't happen. Mm -hmm. Like, how is it going to happen that you were going to get in trouble for a thing? No, you because get, that just you get in trouble with the club if you get a complaint. Right. You get right. in trouble in real like, life. Hey, maybe. Yeah, exactly. They might be waiting outside for you. Yeah. But once you leave, you're gone. Right. There, there's not even a, you can't even post about it. Now there's videos everywhere. Yeah, so that's crazy that you've done both. Mm -hmm. That you've had to adapt or change. Or Like you said, did you always have that thought? That's what Maddie was saying the other day. It was like, you did, you got big then and then you've used the internet to like but you use tv too but like mostly just internet mm -hmm. even yeah. then tv wasn't really coming around right but do you remember like when it was whenever you thought it was funny it was like oh, i'm saying it i could give it. there was never a second thought remember when the kramer thing happened and there was like he was like yelling whatever and i was like oh, i remember i've done this 
Not with black people, but with Arabs. Just to try to hurt people. It's like when I just want to hurt them. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, well, yeah, you've you've, had, you've had one of those yeah. sets where you're like, uh -huh. I'm just going to make I'm your so, night terrible. I'm also oh. mad now, and I don't care that I'm mad. Yeah. I don't yeah. care that I'm showing it. You're losing. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. Because the crowd's not going, hey, shut the fuck up, man. Yeah. No. Like, if you really do it yelling the N-word uh, today, the crowd wouldn't allow it. Right. Whenever you see a crowd allow it, that means you're actually kind of getting it right. And also, you're taking a chance anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. You might fail, but the failure is the bomb, not like the afterwards. People say anything yeah and that's, and now like, you that's saying do don't take a chance which is why whenever a comedian says this guy's joke wasn't good it's like you're holding us all back you're saying don't take a chance right don't and they're like but it wasn't funny that's what i say it wasn't funny and you're like but so so <laughs> but you think they're just making statements or you think they're just like missed so what you're saying is don't ever miss or we're gonna take everything from you yeah right, that's insane that's not the way to like learn a new skateboard trick Right. If you fuck this one up, you'll never be allowed to skate again. And and that's a way to that's get not, shitty comedy. That's the way to get shitty comedy. Right. Just do all safe shit that already works. Yeah. That's right. not what we want. You should be like, kudos, man. You took a fucking beating on that one. Way right. <laughs> yeah. to go for it. That was brave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a different time. But it's all navigable. But you got to seek out developmental you, places. You have to make yourself want to be yeah, better. Yeah, you got to make yourself find a yeah. I just found a comic who's like, I'm trying to get in. I'm not getting spots at the stand. I, should I go look at another club? I'm like, yeah, you should always do that. Yeah. You got to get spots everywhere. Mm -hmm. Also, the mothership is one type of audience. Right. They're all very aware of who Joe Rogan is. Mm -hmm. So that's not a that's not a that's not a very worldly crowd. You won't get that at a Kansas City improv. Right. You'll get some people know who he is. He's famous, but not that much. Yeah. You know? So it's like I, I I mean, you can reference Mark Norman uh, on stage, and they'll all get it. They'll be like, "Woo!" You can't yeah. do that Comedy, at, 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 that. at Tucson. No. They probably won't. They might. Some people will. So you have to like do different rooms. You have to do the fucking East Austin rooms. You have to do the regular Austin rooms. You have to do the famous rooms. Yeah, you got to go everywhere. So it's not tricks. I go to Brooklyn. They hate me on sight. <laughs> on sight. They're like, you would look like the type of person we'd hate, and they don't give me a chance. But so it's all right. Let me try to win you over. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, comedy's fun now though. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, no wrap up line. Yeah, yeah. No, that's all right. No, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's good. We, we I, appreciate I, you one last in. comedy oh. question. Okay. I, I, I just have to ask this because okay. also everybody's on their own path. So yeah. like, what worked for Hedberg doesn't work for me. What doesn't work for you? But like, people have good people. You can get styles and techniques from people and use it and make it your own. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. Louis told me a long time ago was he was telling that like, how he had that. We had a talk once in Montreal, and I was like, I went to see Broken Lizard at this um, theater, and we were doing a theater. He was going to do a guest spot on The Nasty Show. And I was like, he'd done his third straight special in three years. And as we were walking, I was like, hey, by the way, you know what you're doing is like unheard of, right? And he was like, yeah, I get it. But, and he just broke down. He's done it now a lot in interviews where he's like, just throw away your material. You're not going to stop being a comic. You'll get new material. If they took away all your jokes, you would, you would have to write new ones. So you just would. And he goes, you know, you do an hour a year, like you just nothing's gonna hold you back if you just do a new hour. And I remember going like, yeah, yeah, but you have HBO calling. Right. Like I don't have HBO calling. It's easy for you to say. I waited probably two more years after that, two or three more years after that, and then I was like, I'm sure I'm thinking of a lot of reasons why Louis C.K.'s advice isn't gonna work for me, instead of why it was. And so I just I did a CD, you know, that no one really listened to. Uh, it did well on iTunes, but that man's like 3,000 people, right. 5,000 people. And then I was like, let me start it over. Did another uh, a small like internet special. Not very good, but better than I was. It, and it got stuff started going better for me. Mm. Yeah, not as good as it went for him, but like the advice worked. Yeah, you right. know? yeah I couldn't do an HBO special, but I could do a CD. Yeah. Dump my shit and move on. So, yeah, you got to do what works for you, but... There's, people have like wisdom out there. When I went to Edinburgh, I was like, I found a lot of not great comics, but doing interesting things. And I'm like, I see what you're doing. That's great. I can tweak that to be funnier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. like, but yeah, yeah. That's all that juice stuff came out of Edinburgh. Seeing those people doing those theme hours and doing it not quite good enough. Mm. And I'm like, I want to throw this in your fucking face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then realizing it took me actually a few years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It actually, was way harder to do it in a year than I thought it would be. But that is right there why you got to go do rooms and different, so you can see something you can and be see a like, style. Uh, what the fuck yeah, is that? Yeah. Oh, I've never even. Go do a black room when they're just like yes. yelling out shit and everyone's, it's like, it's a gospel thing. It's like, oh, I don't do that at all. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, you can get some stuff out of that for sure. You can pull in a little things here or there. The way Big J's fighty is comes from black rooms. Yeah. You know? Mm. Going at the crowd. But yeah. Anyway, what were you gonna ask? Yo, how many times your whole career did people tell you to uncross your arms? Do people always say that to you? Yeah, Red Band does. I'm always <laughs> whatever. Oh, on stage, we're on talking stage. about that. Yeah, yeah. You know, no one's ever told me to uncross. Really? Yeah. Cause it so in my head, bro, yeah. that's something you've had to hear your whole life. No. Just because in comedy, bro, he always used to tell me that all the time. Uncross, uncross your arms. arms. Uncross. He, would be, he would always be like looking like so this. nervous. But, but then I would look down. They told me not to look down. Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, look up. The crowd's there. And I'd go like this. Mm -hmm. This guy, Dave Pierre. He like, the crowd's in front of you. Look up. And I go like this. He goes, no, not up. Above. <laughs> look at the crowd you're talking to. You're right. And I'm like, oh, okay. But I'm so I'm an introvert. And I'm like, I don't want to be the center of attention. So I like, I don't want to look people in the face. <laughs> so I'm always, even on Rogan's podcast, I'm always like kind of looking down. Occasionally I'll look up at one of them, but then I was like, Kind of make your points down. Yeah. David Taylor said that you see the comics, their their delivery style is the same way they are at parties. So Pat Oswalt's always this because he's a short guy at the party talking up to everybody. Mm. So he's always a little bit up. Um, and I'm just, yeah, that's, I don't want to, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of like want to stick to myself and observe people. Yeah. I don't want eyes on me. So it's a weird thing to do. It's crazy yeah, that the, you, you're the only person I've ever seen pull it off confidently. Like, like, <laughs> pure confidence. I'm always though. like this. Redman's always like, what are you doing? Why are you this? It's always this. I'm always holding my, when I'm standing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of ball punch games at the comedy store. But also just like, it just feels right. Like, <laughs> God damn, yeah. bro. You're the man. Thanks for doing this. Thanks, for, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate right, so it. Let me see that dick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Val, stop. Don't be judgy this time. <laughs> <laughs> fucking be cool this time. <laughs> fucking fuck a lot of shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Good uh, luck with your podcast. Oh, bro. Thank you. Thank yeah. you.